Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. Welcome to Blue Pen Online. I'm Dr. Chaitra. I'll be handling with pedagogic subject. First, we will move on to introduction to pedagogics. The word pedagogics is made up of two words that is pedo and dogics. Pedo is derived from a Greek word which means child. and dogic stand for the study of the truth coming to its definition Amer american academy of pediatric dentistry defined pediatric dentistry as an age defined specialty that provides both primary and comprehensive preventive and therapeutic oral health care for infants and children through adolescence including those with special health care needs so remember the definition which will be asked for viva coming to its importance the special importance is given in prevention of dental caries and also to maintenance of primary teeth until they are naturally lost it also serves as an educational resource for parents coming to historical perspective In 1737, Gerardi wrote about theories of tooth eruption and exfoliation. In 1763, Joseph Hurlock published first book on children's dentistry. In 1764, Robert Buchanan, who is called as father of pedodontics, reiterated the importance of deciduous dentition. How pedodontics evolved in India. The first dental college was started by the name of Calcutta Dental College and Hospital in the year 1920 by Dr R Ahmed. He is also known as father of dentistry in India. In 1950, periodontics was first introduced in Government College Amritsar. In 1967, KGMC Lucknow was the second institute to introduce a specialty. In 1978 it was introduced in the undergraduate curriculum. In 1979 Indian Society of Periodontics and Preventive Dentistry was formed. Dr B R Vachar is called as the father of periodontics in India. So what are the objectives of periodontics? It is to maintain function aesthetics and arch integrity of the primary dentition treatment and prevention of dental caries in primary and permanent teeth child dental health care education to parents and also providing for patients immediate dental needs and initiating good attitudes towards dental health so what are the stages of childhood According to WHO, newborns are from birth to 28 days. Infants are up to 12 months. Children from age 1 to 10 years. Adolescents from age 10 to 13 years. There is certain difference between a child and adult patient. So these factors are in terms of physical differences emotional and psychological in behavioral differences type of treatment and there is dentist patient parent dentist relationship so this is explained by periodontic treatment triangle which is given by bright in 1975 so periodontic triangle can be asked for essay or even in case of brief note so it is a triangle which tells about the relationship between child dentist and parents the child will be placed at the apex of triangle whereas parents and dentist are at the base of the triangle all these three are interrelated 
and the arrows denote the communication is reciprocal. This modified periodic triangle includes society at the center. This modification is given in 2004 and society is added to this triangle which suggests that it has also got a strong influence on overall development of a child. So as I said, there are certain differences between a child and adult. So in terms of physical differences, there are differences in respiratory system. So in case of a child patient, the child must not be placed in supine position. They must be tilted at an angle of 20 to 30 degree head tilt position for treating a child. An upper respiratory tract is predisposed to obstruction because of certain differences like narrow nasal passage due to tongue oral cavity disproportion due to decreased airway diameter and also physiological differences. And in case of a child, alveolar ventilation is greater but functional residual capacity is less. This ratio decides the changes in inspired gas concentration. That is, children react more rapidly to inhale gases. When it comes to cardiovascular system, heart rate is around 120 in case of newborn. And as age increases, the heart rate decreases throughout childhood and reaches adult value in years. There is a relationship between cardiac output, heart rate and stroke volume which is given by the equation cardiac output equal to stroke volume into heart rate. Stroke volume is low due to the inefficiency of left ventricle. So cardiac output depends mainly upon the heart rate. A child is more prone to bradycardia due to more parasympathetic tone that is vagal stimulation due to the pressure on eyeballs, application of throat packs and due to the tracheal intubation. So this is applicable in case of sedation in a child because changes in cardiac output can drastically affect the uptake of inhaled gases. The differences in case of gastrointestinal tract are due to the immature gut mucosa the acid concentration will be low, so barbitrates are not well absorbed. Whereas penicillin drugs are well absorbed. Also, hepatic enzymes are not well developed like glucuronide transferase for the metabolism of barbiturates and acetaminophen. In case of renal system, the glomerular fil filtration rate is very less in child and also Tubular secretion is not developed, causing increased drug concentration. In case of body fluid, the child possesses more of volume of distribution. So for water soluble drugs, distribution will be affected. When it comes to emotional and psychological differences, child possesses lower level of psychological competence and they are more attached to parents. So, parental presence is essential in case of treatment of a child. And they possess lesser logic and cognition ability. The certain behavioral consideration is given in case of first dental visit because it influences future dental behavior. Thus, behavior management techniques have to be used in a child. Effective and efficient treatment is difficult to achieve in case of a child patient. So these treatment considerations need to be taken in during oral surgical procedures, in case of modified cavity designs, in radiographic considerations, endotonic treatment due to different root canal morphology. Another question which might be asked in case of theory is scope of periodontics. 
This question was even asked recently in RGHS University. So, pediatric dentistry is an integrated science of all the dental specialties. It is based on the basic knowledge from various odontological, medical and behavioral science that applies to the unique situations of developing child and adolescent. Pediatric dentistry also includes treatment and early diagnosis of oral diseases and conditions found in child and adolescent mouth including caries, periodontal abscess and mineralization defects. The dentist who wants to master the art of child dentistry has to know when to transform his knowledge from other branches and modify the treatment according to the child's needs. So, the scope of periodontics lies in various branches like oral medicine, in case of restorative dentistry, immunology, neonatology, preventive orthodontics, child psychology, periodontics, and special health care as well as in case of surgical procedures. The changing trends in scope of periodontics is due to certain factors. This may be due to professional and public recognition of dental health and well-being of child. It is, can be also due to wider recognition of fluorides, which is an anti cariogenic factor. It can be also due to the introduction of high-speed technology in teeth preparation for restoration. Improvement in aesthetic restorative agents are other factor. And also introduction of sophisticated materials like composites, glass enamel cement, compomer and pit and fissure sealants. As well as recognition of child as an individual. So from this section, the question can be mainly asked from scope of periodontics or periodontic triangle can be asked as brief note or as a short essay. Thank you.